finding resources for our kids that are just for them yeah. or that yeah. are specific to, to yeah, their to unique what they're personality, going to um, their culture or to their language. Welcome to the Honestly Adoption Podcast, a show about adoption, foster care, advocacy, and becoming the best caregiver possible. Pull up a chair. We're glad you've joined us. Here are your hosts, Mike and Kristen Berry with Nicole Jurgis. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Honestly Adoption Podcast. This is season 27, episode 243, and it is part three of our series called Resources That Transform. And we have covered some good ground already. Uh, man, last yeah. week we talked to uh, Curry Blanford from Replanted Conference. That was a fun conversation. All yeah. about driving buses. Not really oh, about not. driving buses. <laughs> not that's, at all. That was kind of the joke last week. So maybe it's not funny anymore. I'm not this, sure it was funny last week, but if you want to go back and listen, you sure can. <laughs> oh, now they want to listen. Now they're like, wait, what was this joke? The teaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, ooh, what really happened? Nothing. Well, no, it was exciting because we talked about Replanet Conference and yeah. that's going to be awesome. That's coming up mid-October, October 13th through the 15th. Um, and um, who, the week before that, we talked to an amazing woman named Taria Rashan. Yes. Who? Oh, uh, that was amazing. I love that That was that amazing. One. Yeah. Like, she's just an amazing person overall. But then the resource that she provides right. is hair care. Um, for, you know, especially for, uh, transracial, multiracial families, that's a huge thing that we're trying to figure out. And I think that was, that was just an amazing interview. So go back and, and watch that or listen to that. Watch that. You can't watch it. So you can listen it. to it. I mean, you um, could watch your phone you while you screen. listen to it. You could. So it's dangerous for us. those who drive and listen like we do, Kristen. That is a solid point. I do listen to my podcast in the car, so I will not be watching <laughs> no, the podcast. Don't, don't I will do that. Listen. Just watch the road, please. I All will, right. I will do that. So this is part three. And in part three, we are uh, we're going to jump into we're going to kind of Oprah Winfrey this thing. You know, yes. you get a resource. Yes. You got a resource oh, yeah. right, because this yeah. episode is a few of my favorite resources. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Oprah Christmas special, but also these are a few of our favorite things. There we go. <laughs> Very cool. Sound saying. of the music. Cool saying. Oprah it's Winfrey horrible. Yeah. Really yeah. set the bar high with a classic <laughs> movie and, um, an American icon. So yeah, totally. Right. And sad, sadly though, we're not, we're looking at Nicole on a screen right now. Um, mm -hmm. You can't see this listening audience. You can't see this, but we're Kristen and I are together because we live together. That's true. That is true. Oh, that works. Um, and then, yeah, it would be really awkward if Nicole were here and you were somewhere, somewhere else, which. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a tangent that we yeah, don't. That's not, that's yeah, not, that's, on that one. that's, that's not yeah. the case. Um, Nicole's been dropping a kid off at dance and picking a kid up and yeah mm yeah -hmm. doing all the high school things that raising teenagers includes all, all which we will not explore fun. on this program today. that's a whole series in itself oh, totally so okay so part three we're jumping to this and before we get to that um this is the last thing last time i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys because road trip fought for foster adoptive dads is coming up in just a couple of weeks i'm super excited about this October uh, 2nd through the 5th and 5th through the 8th. And dads or spouses, if you know a dad, neighbors, if you know a dad who needs to be up in the mountains and get away, sign them up for road trip, road trip 2022. It's going to be amazing. Go to roadtripdads.com and let's jump into this. Yeah. We're talking that's resources. A great segue because road trip is a great resource for it dads. Is. It is. Yeah. Today, we just wanted to talk about you know, what are some of those key resources? And we have so many, this could be like a 25 part episode right here, but we yeah. each just narrowed it down to a few um, that we want to share with our audience and some ideas about how to find those resources as a foster and adoptive family. Yeah. yeah. And Kristen, and I, I cheated because we talked about this beforehand. So while we were Sorry. driving. 
Did which you really? is legal as long as you're not touching your phone in Indiana. Yeah, you I had was not touching AirPods, my phone. AirPods in, right? I had my yeah. AirPods in, had a little chat while I was driving the kids home from school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. good. And I, I, I didn't even know that that had happened until right now. I know. So, now you feel left out because well, you have to come up with your own resources. And Nicole and I already talked about it. I'm, Sorry, I'm Mike. Guessing. Yeah, I actually, what's funny is I did open this, this document and I'm like, huh. Well, I'm the only wow. one that added to it, but it's fine. Well, I no, didn't I, get it. I didn't get it this time. I even looked at my junk mail. That keep happening? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know what? Yeah. You and I, we just, we know. Yeah. Yeah. We know yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. I don't even yeah, need I think- notes. I, I can read her. <laughs> I can, I know what she's thinking. I'm she knows like, the resources. There. yeah. So, all right. Um, so we've narrowed it down to a few and here's the thing, you know, we were just, have we said this to our audience or not? We're working on getting our foster license again. Life is like that. And while we were doing our home study, the caseworker said, you know, oh, I know, you know, you're already an adoptive family. You were already a foster family. Um, you, you have all the resources. You probably know all the resources. Ah. Well, we don't. And, and new and different stuff comes up all the time. Yeah. So he handed yeah. us a list of, you know, some different trainings and places that might be of interest for our particular situation. And, and he, you know, had that disclaimer. And I said, yeah. Not e- not even a little all yeah, the resources. Yeah. We're finding out new things all the time. And that will exactly. happen, you know, you bump into somebody or um you're standing at the playground and yeah, somebody next to you says, Yeah, but have you ever heard about the program for blah blah blah? You're mm-hmm. like, I had no idea. So we're learning stuff all the time. Um, I don't think anybody has an exhaustive list of resources and being a parent means you're looking for different things all the time. Yeah. So we're just going to highlight a couple of those and, and some of those unique situations that we have, um, as foster and adoptive family, um, are, you know, resources to, help to educate us as parents on trauma, mm-hmm. um, to yeah. help to educate us, um, on prenatal substance exposure or, um, you know, ways to get our kids connected yeah. if, if we're not from the same culture. And, you know, even if we are from the same culture, everyone has subcultures and, um, you know, and, and our kids need to be connected. So whatever it is within their own culture, how do we get them connected to, people who come from the same place that they do, or maybe look like they do. Yeah. Um, so we're finding these things all the time. So I think maybe, um, the best way to start is let's just, I think we just kind of, you know, go around around. I do want to mention this, you know, I think the big criteria that we have on this, and it's, it's kind of the same in the same vein of, as, as the, the, the title that we've given this series is that these the reason why we didn't just list resources. I mean, we could list resources all day long. Right. We specifically have chosen resources that we believe are transformational for uh, parents. Like these are these are resources that not only did we come across these, but then when we dove into them and we really researched them or we discovered that we actually utilized them, we were like, wow, this this is changing the the game for us as parents. This is helping us to become better parents. Right. And as, as we narrowed them down, we, we thought about, you know, what are a handful of things that we find ourselves repeating all the time? Yeah. Yeah. So my number one is the mystery of risk, drugs, alcohol, pregnancy, and the vulnerable child by uh, Dr. Ira Chasnoff. Good friend of ours. Um, turns out when I went to find the link, um, that it's like $86 on Amazon right now. So wow. you can borrow my copy if you live close. Um, but it is on Kindle or, you know, whatever ebook. Yeah. yeah. For like $8. Um, I highly recommend that book. I, I remember the first time I read it. It's good. I read the first, it, it might not even been the first chapter. It's like the intro. And I thought it was sad. <laughs> It's a little hard to read. Mm-hmm. Um, but I thought my kid isn't alone. I'm not alone. This is a scenario that that I see playing out in my own home. And then um Dr. Chasnoff just does a great job of explaining what's happening inside the brain. Yeah. Um, 
you know, different strategies to use as caregivers to help our children. Um, that is just a valuable, valuable book. And that's yeah. one that I find myself recommending all the time. Yeah. I, and actually this was kind of off the cuff, but I'm actually looking across my desk cause we're sitting in my office recording this, um, Kristen and myself are, and his latest book guided growth. I have in my little lineup of books that I'm moving through this year, that's his latest book guided growth. So I'm going to tag that on to that. Um, that's actually been really resource or really uh, valuable for parents because um, this is a lot about behavioral intervention. Mm-hmm. This is a lot about behavior intervention within schools. Um, in fact, can you reach that? Um, that would actually help me because I want to yeah, talk. So I chuckled a little because when I looked over at the pile of books, I saw securely attached by Mike and Kristen Berry. And I was like, man, come on now. Is he going to like shamelessly self I will <laughs> but shamelessly see, we're pointing at a different well, book. Yeah. I mean you I, guys have had I Ira like Chasnoff on Nicole, Nicole you <laughs> shamelessly pro, times. Uh, promote us well as I was going to say is like using you guys as a resource you know that $89 can be can be steep but he's been on your podcast yes multiple times I know that we've spoken to him multiple times on this yeah. podcast um, you guys do a lot of work with him and you, a lot of the resources that you pull, um, are from, uh, yes. from him as well. Yeah. So, you know, totally. um, so that is self-promotion, but, um, you guys do pull a lot from him because he's so knowledgeable. He's kind of like the head of all of the research that's going on. So, right. and, you know, listening to this podcast, you kind of have a little in with that. So. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So um, his book, Guided Growth, uh, I think he released this in 2019. And um, this, this is a great book, um, Guided Growth, Educational and Behavioral Interventions for Children and Teens with Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorders and Early Trauma. He co-wrote this with uh, Ronald Powell. Um, this is just a great book. I actually did a whole podcast mm-hmm. with him about um, this very topic. Mm-hmm. It's, it was an exclusive podcast, so it's not available or not a podcast, but a webinar. Um, you can't even, I don't even think you can access it anymore, but um, I would, it was all about the book. So go get that book too. I'm going to tag that at the, at the end of Kristen's list uh, right behind the mystery of risk. Yeah. All Cause right, we get asked about next. educational stuff all the time. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I was going to talk about a resource that I found um, with my daughter and she had to remind me of the name because I was drawing a blank, but it's preply. And so my daughter um, is fully Hispanic. Um, She knows where her family is from. Um, None of that is hidden from her. And as she was learning Spanish, she was kind of upset because she was like learning basic Spanish and Spanish is spoken Mm. differently in different communities, just like English is spoken differently in different places where you find people who speak English. So it's the same for Spanish. And so um, she wanted to learn from someone who maybe be, you know, closer to her community where she would originally be from. And so um, Preply, you can actually find someone um, who speaks a language for many different countries not only that but then specific areas of those countries and so Mm. she was able like um so if you want to speak spanish well i've heard i don't know but puerto rican spanish is very different than spanish that is spoken in mexico um so you could find Colum- uh, people from Colombia, people from Mexico, and then different area places in Mexico where all of that is, um, they have different sayings, they have different um, phrases and um, accents and things like that. And so she was kind of excited to learn from someone who was from like where her, where her family was based out of. So that was really cool, like that you could find you know, not just someone who spoke Spanish, but then spoke Spanish from a region that you were interested in. Mm. And so it's the same like for um, like Haiti or Ethiopia, like whatever those different nations and languages and countries are that you can learn from. So it's yeah. kind of interesting that you can learn from people from those countries. Yeah. That is really good. Really, really good. Um, and that's preply. 
And it's just an online resource. It's preply.com, P-R-E-P-L-Y.com. Okay. So awesome. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, I guess I'm up. You're it's my up. turn, right? Okay. So I'm going to go back to just, in, you know, we were talking about Dr. Ira Chesnoff, his uh, organization, NTI Upstream. You can find out That's all about them at ntiupstream.com. They do a lot of work uh, in the area of fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, uh, prenatal exposure, uh, and one of the one of the tools that I greatly greatly appreciate from them. In fact, we've even uh, given this away as a bonus for our our uh, our flagship course, Trauma Knowledge Masterclass. Um, that is their uh, behavior their online behavior management tool. Um, in fact. Um, I'm not sure if I can pull this up, but I believe if you go to ntiupstream.com, um, their behavior management tool is a, re it's online. It's an online tool. And I feel like I'm just kind of talking in the dark here. I had like this whole, um, idea, this whole thing planned about what I was going to say. And I'm just <laughs> all of a sudden, like, oh, I can't remember. A what am I talking about here? Don't you um, love it? Yeah, let me see. I know I'm all that that always happens to me, right? When I'm um well right NTI Upstream up. just has they're just a great a organization lot of great overall. resources, period. But it is the um dang, what is it called? Yeah, it it uh, well, you know, actually let me just pause for a moment. Um, as I'm doing this, this, this you guys are just kind of what listeners, you're just kind of you're listening to us kind this of like the all Dr. Chesnoff. It is. We should just been like we should have had him on the show. Um <laughs> But he, um, they, they also have uh, moment to moment, which, which is, is a, like a, documentary a documentary all about um, uh, parenting teens with fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. And I have, this is probably the one documentary that I have recommended the most mm -hmm. to families who are parenting children with an FASD. Um, it is so good, so telling, and I always forewarn parents that just, just know that when you watch this, two things are going to happen. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I am parenting a child just like the, the, the children that they feature in the documentary that they talk about in the documentary. Second of all, um, you're going to, um, you're going to immediately know that there is hope because you have answers, right? You're going to realize, wait, I'm not alone. This is, this is, this is all clicking for me, right? This is probably the best documentary I've ever seen, uh, on the subject of fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. I can't even tell you, I begin to tell you how many times I've recommended this, but I love Dr. Ira Chasnoff. I love Gabe Chasnoff. These guys are good friends. Um, Kristen's right. Like, ntiupstream.com is a wealth of information. I'm looking at the site right now. And uh, I, I just recommend jumping. They've got videos, they've got webinars, they've got um, uh, downloads. I'm looking at their site right now. Um, all of Dr. Chasnoff's books are over there. Guided Growth, which we just mentioned, is over there. Um, I can't say enough about uh, the work that this organization does. So that's mine. Who's up next? You got next, Kristen? Next Back to you. Back to you. All right. I just want to make sure I get the website right. Yep. Brooke-Randolph.com. Um, she's actually a good friend. She is a therapist and also an adoptive mom. Uh, works with a lot of therapists who are also adoptees. Yeah. And yeah. so um, she actually has a lot of connections across the United States. So if you're looking for a therapist, um, she is licensed in a couple different Ooh, states and can do news. online. Oh, she's so good. Um, but she can meet with you online. I thought that was weird at first. Um, and I guess it's okay to say, cause I'm already down this road, but she's also my therapist because when I called and wanted therapy, she was like, is it is it uncomfortable for you to come to me? Do you, do you want to? And I was like, yeah, know I would each rather other. talk to you. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. So I, and I did that all virtual and it was great. You just pull up 
the computer. I mean, we all know how to do that now, but it felt like mm-hmm. we were in the same room together and she does a great job. Even she's virtually. amazing. Yep. She's um, a rock star. So she specifically is licensed in multiple states and she's connected to other therapists who are, you know, her caliber of therapist with yeah. a deep understanding of trauma and detachment and all the stuff. Um, so, and um, one of the reasons I thought about her as a, a resource is that she has a lot of webinars and classes, yep. trainings for not just parents, but also for therapists. Um, she's got one tomorrow, which would be today. If you're listening to this, <laughs> the day that it comes out or, um, or if it's a month from now, sorry, yeah, it's no, already I mean, happened. She has tons, but the thing that really popped in my mind today about her was that, um, I'm attending one on September 16th called racial identity development, how transracial adoptees figure it out. And she's interviewing an adult transracial adoptee who is also a therapist. So she is just a wealth of resources, um, not just for therapy, but lots of different trainings. Um, so anyway, uh, that's Brooke dash Randolph.com. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you looking uh, looking up. I'm like, that's awesome that we have her on the list. She's a good. She's a partner of ours here at Honestly Adoption. So if you went to Insight Conference, you saw her a couple of years ago. She was actually at our very first Insight right. Conference in person, but then she also joined us uh, virtually uh, for the very first Insight Virtual Conference. So we love Brooke. She's uh, she's awesome. Uh, amazing partner of ours. Um, okay, who's next? You is it is it me again? I think so. Or is it Nicole again? I'll go rattling around. Either one of you. So I, um, I want to preface this resource by saying that just to just this last year, I believe it was this last year, I was walking through this down on on the streets of our city, Indianapolis, Indiana, and I happened to walk past uh, this um, this Presbyterian church that was down in the city, and I saw a sign that said foster the family support group tonight, 7 PM. And I'm like, I know the founder of that group. That's our good friend, Jamie Finn from foster the family blog.com and real mom uh, podcast. And she's got a book out called foster the family. And I'm like, that's my friend. Oh my gosh. Right here in Indianapolis. And so the resource that I want to share is, um, Jamie, not only does she have an amazing blog over at Foster the Family Blog, amazing Instagram. You got to follow her Instagram. She's awesome there. Um, and then, then also an, a really, really amazing uh, store called Goods and Better, which provides T-shirts and I love her uh, t-shirts. apparel. Yeah, she apparel, T-shirt, T-shirts. I think she's got all kinds of things at, at Goods mm-hmm. and Better. But that, but here's what what's cool about that. And it's all based around foster care and it's, it's, it's based around foster parenting. But when you purchase uh, apparel from goods and better, a percentage of your purchase goes to support foster families. So not only does Jamie have an amazing blog, amazing Instagram, this amazing uh, initiative called goods and better, but they also are basically kind of sweeping the country with their, with foster the family support groups. So it seems like every day, um, I noticed that we get followed by Foster the Family New Jersey, Foster the Family mm-hmm. Baltimore, Foster Family. I, I, may, I may be saying cities that they're not even, I'm just saying. And then there's just one here in Indianapolis. I'm just saying <laughs> cities. They're out there, right? So Foster the Family, and I think you can find out information by going to fosterthefamily.org uh, or probably even fosterthefamilyblog.com. So both places um, would would give you information. But I love, you know, last week we talked about Replanted Conference, and that's also one of the things that Replanted Ministry is doing is they are actually creating in-person support, Mm face-to-face, you know, real life in the same room with another human being support, which is what we need. We know that, right? So important, yes. So important. Foster the Family is doing the same thing. That's exactly what they're all about. So um, yeah, that's mine. That's my my second one. Foster the Family. good one. Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm going back to the guy I keep saying I'm following. I keep telling people to follow. Can you all guess who it is? It's Cam Lee. Cam Lee Small. Um, he is, I found him on Instagram and I think it was through you guys, if I'm not mistaken. 
probably we do follow him too. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. So, and he's therapy redeemed. Um, but he is a Korean adoptee and he's a therapist, but he does like parent training. I'm reading everything off here. Teen adoptee group, summer day camp for preteens. Um, he has a master class. He has a 12 week virtual workshop for adoptive parents. Um, he has a whole website. So just, um, I think he does some, maybe some YouTube videos as well. So, um, I like to follow him. I like his resources. Um, some of them I can't access because I'm not an adoptee. So um, now I that like my that though, it's right? Gated, yeah. gated so, for uh, adoptees. Yes. So I, you know, I've I've had my daughter kind of follow him, and when she's ready, you know, she'll, you know, she can access those uh, those resources that she would like as well. So. Um, you know, I didn't even know that there were these, um, camps and, and online, um, places where kids can meet, um, uh, you know, these groups for, uh, teens and preteen adoptees. I think that's amazing. I didn't know they were there, um, when some of my kids were younger. So definitely want to access that now. Um, but, yeah, I haven't used a lot of, I've only used, you know, what I can, which is yeah. the resources that he has for the adoptive parents. But there is, I mean, and that's all online that you can find. It's very easy to find. It's very accessible. Um, you know, he's, um, he's just very kind. He has like one of those voices that are just like, oh, soothing and nice and yeah. um you know you're like okay thanks for not yelling at me for getting that wrong so yeah. um great guy to follow so if you, you if you can find him on instagram i think he's on tiktok I'm not sure if he's on facebook um but i do follow him on instagram and tiktok tiktok and he has great resources and so and a lot of those are for our kids as well so important for you to find those resources for your kids and he's a great one that's good that's so good and i think it's actually a natural segue to what you and i were talking about in the car which is finding not just a specific resource but finding resources for our kids um that are just for them yeah. or that yeah. are specific to <laughs> you know, to them, to yeah, their to unique what personality, to, um, their culture or to their language. And you had an experience on, and still are having an experience of, uh, you know, having your child in a program that you found just by looking for the right thing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? I did. I just got back from that. Um, when I was, when my daughter came to live with us, she was, she's full of energy, just has to move and just, um, lively. She wants to talk all the time. She wants to be around people. That's who she is. That's where she thrives. And she was in this family where we're kind of, we don't thrive and all that. So um, when we were looking for dance, she would watch YouTube videos of hiplet. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but this is like hip hop and ballet mixed together. Um, and it's created and, and it's performed by um, people in the black community and it was really big and she really enjoyed it and she was looking for something like that. We didn't really have anything here that went along with that. But when I learned more about what hiplet was, it would tie it into African dance. So we started looking for African dance places for my daughter. Um, and, you know, we found this place and it was filled with this community of um, black teachers um, you know, and, you know, the, she has to call them Mama T and Mama Ron and um, <laughs> use her yes ma'ams and no, no sirs. And, um, and she's surrounded by all these children who look just like her, um, mm -hmm. who are interested in the same thing as her, which is dance. Um, she calls it her home away from home. She also likes to call it her little safe space. So, um, that was very important. And we found this community just by searching, you know, um, I think I even went like so far as I didn't know what to do. And so I was like, um, black dance studios, because I wanted her to be surrounded by that community of black people. 
And so Mm -hmm. it was as simple as that. And it felt really weird. Like, well, no, they don't just, and and if you guys, you had a a son there, he, he is not, he is not, um, he is not a person of color. Very light skinned. He is, he is not a person of color. So it is, it is, you know, they accept all people, but it is a lot it is a huge majority um, of of black children. Their teachers are black, yeah. And it was mm. important for her. That's, the that's people amazing. who own it, um, the or the the woman who owns it, um, she is she is black as well. And so that was important for us to find. And so it was as simple as typing in like black dance studio, um, African dance, those kinds of things. Um, went to go visit it. It was so welcoming and she was in love, I think. And so was I um, just walking in the doors of the place. Mm. So um, don't be afraid. I think um, sometimes we live in that colorblind little happiness, like why I wouldn't type that in. Yes. Right. I'm just going to look for a good dance studio. I'm just going to look for. And the truth is, you know, we were just talking about this today when we were looking years ago nobody was Googling anything. I mean, we're talking about two decades ago. Mm-hmm. We were Isn't like, that crazy? Know, does anybody know <laughs> how to find this? But look, you have access to the internet. Yeah. Look for what you're looking it's for. It's out there. Is your child interested in music? Find something. And, and you may not find it in your community. And that's a bigger conversation for another day. Yeah. Right. Um, but it's worth it. It is valuable. Your children need that. And so finding those resources is, you know, as simple as Googling and then as difficult as calling those places and asking, um, what do you offer? Mm. Getting on your phone, which you carry with you and and checking to see, well, how far is that? If this turns out to be something good, is it worth the extra 30 minutes to go someplace where my kids are getting, you know, something specifically for them. Um, but finding well, those resources, it's so valuable. It's so yeah. worth it. Well, we talked about, you and I talked about when we were looking at schools, one of the things we we looked at and we had never really thought about before was the percentages. We looked at the percentages for people of color. We looked for the percentages of teachers. Yes. Who were, and you can find um, this online. Yes. It's all so, online. It has a little circle chart, you know, a little pie yep. chart that breaks it down for you. So those were things that we had never thought to do before, but suddenly they were important um, and should have been, but we didn't, we didn't know what we didn't know. And so you learn more, you do better. Um, So you you can expand your world too. I, I think that I definitely grew up mostly doing things in my town. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if there, I played softball in my town, I was on the swim team in my town because you just went to, oh, all the kids team over here, all the kids play softball over here. Um, and what we have learned, both of our families have done a lot of branching out, you know, Hey, I found this church and I think you might like it, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think our world has gotten bigger. Um, and that's been a really good thing to yeah. be able to branch out and, and participate in lots of different communities or even find that we're more comfortable somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. And then in, and then in the communities that we're living in. Yeah. And, and luckily we moved down. So we're in that community. Um, but it, it's really interesting because yeah, I, like I text her teacher all the time and her teacher, you know, will call and check up on me and, Hey, what was going on in class today? I could tell something was bothering her. Her hair looked really cute today. Um, or, you know, when we were having trouble with hair and she was like, Hey, there's someone I know who can do, um, who can teach you how to do wraps. She's actually from Africa. You want to learn how to do wraps. And she set that up for us. So, um, to wrap her hair real pretty. So it's, it's a wealth of information. It is a family that we've joined now. Um, and it's been great. And that's all because, you know, just stretching and reaching out and yeah. So it's been, it's been interesting, but that's, that's my third resource. Oh man. I don't think I have a third. Well, no, I did do three cause I did guided growth. So that just leaves you. So my last one, um, 
I've actually got two. Understood.org. Go I tell you every time I tell you understood.org. And if you're not listening to me, you should then just you're not listen. understanding. So you go to understood.org and you'll find out what I'm talking understanding. about. It's okay. I mean, how is, many times have I talked about Kim Lee? You're allowed right. to. I'm just saying, go I, there. I'm starting to have questions, actually. No, I'm so understood.org is, um, it, it's a resource for people with ADHD. Yeah. Not just kids, not just caregivers, but yeah. anyway. Oh. Hey, Mike, and, we should probably check that out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that I why you two haven't logged into understood.org? Well, the like, problem I is, is I never it, remember that I'm supposed to go over to understood.org <laughs> because of the attention deficit part of that. Well, I'm going to get on both of your computers and log you in. <laughs> it's gonna be, that's going to be our <laughs> homepage when we, that'll be like the homepage like, when we log in. Where did this come from? Yeah. Kristen got a hold of our computer. Yeah. Um, now they have tons of resources. And, and the thing about uh, you know, what we've learned as foster and adoptive families is that a lot of things masquerade as ADHD oh, and yeah. that can be actual ADHD. That can be a symptom of something else, whether that's trauma, um, auditory processing disorder, uh, different sensory needs, anxiety, uh, prenatal exposure, anxiety, all of that can look like ADHD. And often our kids are misdiagnosed. Um, yes. when really it's something else. But what I love about that particular site is it's tons of resources that would work for anyone. Sometimes I'm looking for a resource for my kids and I think, oh, that's a great way to remember things. Yeah. I'm going to do that for myself. Yeah. Um, so I definitely recommend that. And my last one was Indiana Alliance on Prenatal Substance Exposure, formerly Indiana NOFAS. Um, that's I N A L L I A N C E P S E dot org. And that will also wow. be in the notes. And that'll be in yeah. the show notes. Please yeah. link. So, that. yep. They have changed their, they have gone from, um, no fast N O F A S fetal alcohol syndrome. They have changed their name. All the organizations under no fast have now separated and become their own thing. Um, if you want to know more about that, you can listen to our episode with Susan Ellsworth from Indiana Alliance on prenatal substance exposure that mm. we did a couple weeks ago. So scroll back. We learned a ton from her. She's amazing. Um, but that's another resource. You don't have to live in Indiana to find all of their amazing things. And you can actually link from there to some things in your own state mm. or location. Um, but they yes. actually have, um, and anyone can join. Um, they have a webinar. I think it's six hours of continuing education coming up, I want to say in like two weeks from this recording. So end of September, I think, um, but they offer webinars all the time on, um, understanding FASD, um, on, you know, resources for caregivers. Yeah. So anyway, it's, a, it's an amazing resource. Um, and I think, you know, I benefit every time I take one of their webinars or connect with them in some way. Yeah, there's uh, just a really good, and we get a lot of questions about fetal alcohol spectrum disorders. So these resources that we've listed from NTI Upstream, Indiana Alliance on Prenatal Substance Exposure, highly valuable, uh, vetted by us. So we can stand by these resources. All nine that we've mentioned, we mentioned nine. I think we started off with, we were going to do just six total, but we've done nine, which is awesome. So no, we were always going to do nine. Oh, we were? Yeah. Math is not our subject no. here. I knew we were doing Listen, nine. <laughs> nine is just six. Nine is six upside down. So. Oh, that's a really good point. Okay, we'll so. give you that one. We'll let you win that one, Mike. You I got it. Clearly. And he makes a solid point. I may have said we're going to do six upside down. <laughs> and she wrote it, but I looked at it upside down. And I was like, that's six. That could 100% be what happened. See, so, I don't need um, clearly, I, I read her like just like she yeah. just knows what's but coming the next. Thing. The berries are all families of writers, and there's a reason for that. We are good writers, but we also really suck at math. So oh, we need to do we, 100%. It's got to be words, and that's it. Period. I use it my calculator app all the time, like for <laughs> basic things. I'm like, yeah, you know, I should have been able to figure that out in my head. So Johnny makes an appearance in this in this in this show all the time, even though he's not actually here. He's, he's remember, right here next to me on his phone. Oh, he he's is? being yeah. really quiet. You know, he's so he's talking. talkative. He's is here. He really? Hang on. Uh, so I was, 
In, in, oh, yeah, Johnny's... you're on it. <gasps> Hello. He's Say hi, show. everybody. He's hey, in the show. <laughs> he exists. <laughs> so Johnny made fun of me a couple of years ago because I was I was adding up the the tip percentage. Oh my gosh! On my <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it freaking is. The percentage so... adding it up. What? He, when he added up. Okay, the tip when it percentage. comes to money, I can do math oh. on a computer. And Johnny made I'm fun of me. I'm not playing around about money. <laughs> he goes. Johnny. He goes, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah see he admits it and johnny's on the show welcome johnny to the show well, I'm so I, you know john could give his resource and i bet his resource would be what would your resource be for adoptive parents would it be the dad's retreat oh yeah road trip he said road trip yeah, yeah he said road trip good yeah. plug guys i love it all right That's perfect. Friends, in the well, words of fun. oprah you get a resource and you yes. get a resource you all get a resource. Everybody gets. I'm resource. sorry, it's not a car though. We're not giving it's away cars. Car. These it are a few websites and books, of our but yeah. favorite favorite resources. resources. Our favorite resources. <gasps> That's what this episode is going to be called. That's a few what it of is. our favorite resources. Mm-hmm. Oprah Winfrey style. Oh yeah, I was trying to sing it, but I didn't want to go back there again because you know I'm proud of you for singing it the first time. Yeah, thanks. I'm not singing it again. Mike's I the have singer nothing in the more group. To add. Mike's singer. No comment. No comment. <laughs> well, we'll all right. Sing in the car, though. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for listening to the Honestly Adoption Podcast, a resource courtesy of the Honestly Adoption Company. To learn more about us, visit www.honestlyadoption.com.